Ali Reza, he has defeated Hikaru, who is absolutely bullet legend, in a chess.com bullet championship, which was just uh, incredible to watch. As they're off, and we know it's going to be a knight off with h3, h3, e5, bishop e7, and both players having a great deal of experience with this position. Queen, uh, the vagaries of fashion theory always mystify me. Queen f3, I don't know what it's doing on f3. Well, but funny enough, it supports g4. And uh, sure enough, <laughs> I thought h3 supported g4. How could I have guessed that? But it? you're setting up castle queen side. That's the rationale. Has it happened? Right. Well, for me, if I was black, I would love to make two moves in a row. I know it's illegal, but I would love to play rook c8 takes c3 right about now. Yeah, that's exactly what the plan is. Yes. Like rook c8, and if you're allowed. Rook takes c3. Yeah. Conversely, like you say, I mean, you're ready to play uh, knight to d5, ready to occupy the center, and to prevent the bishop from uh, coming, you know, in case of knight takes d5, to prevent the bishop from coming. Now, rook b8 right away, uh, pardon me, rook c8 right away. Knight d5 and, played. And by the way, knight d7 to f8. I just wanted to take that move back for a moment because the uh, a standard, oops, excuse me, a standard alternative is knight b6. None of that was played. So what was played, excuse me, is rook to c8 and knight f8. Now that is a Still strange move. Very much in a theory. I might have got it here in really? the database. Yeah, the is main one? move is to go king to b1, which makes a lot of sense. It's uncomfortable for the white king to yeah. be just uh, staring down the barrel of that black rook. So the idea is black wants to take the knight on d5, and the move knight f8 makes room for the bishop. So knight takes d5, e takes d5. The bishop's not trapped. The bishop will be able to go back. But the knight on f8 makes a woeful impression. Well, that's why it's been uh, re rerouted to knight, g, knight to g6. There you go. And if they're going to follow theory, then the main move is rook to g1, and then some. Some people have tried h4. Okay, so for me, uh, I would find myself very attracted to the move bishop to a b6 right about now. Um, that just kind of makes room for... I don't like the queen on f3. It just feels, well, wrong. I would like to play bishop b6, knight takes e7, queen to e3, and then get on with business uh, on both... Interestingly uh, enough... Two people played h4, but h4 gives up their g.
Bishop would be anchored on f4 as it stands. It's a target. And rook h4. How are you going to defend the pawn? You don't want to go passive. And there you see. Maxime wins the pawn on g4. It's a, a terrible technique. Terrible technique. Yeah, the Alan player's Reza. only got seconds left on the clock. No excuse. So. No excuse. <laughs> Those positions. No, no. Yeah. No excuse. You, they should have traded off the rooks. Ooh. And wait a minute, it's a three result game. Yeah, and then MVL, MVL could easily win this. Well, H6, what a move. Get rid of the weakness just yeah. in time. And um, Maxine coming forward, attacking C2, uh -oh. C8. And wow, also watch that F4, F6 pawn rather. Watch the A6 pawn too though. <laughs> I want to play rook to C6 and give me the, the fish. And again, some breaking news. Ivan Sharich has beaten Levon Aronia. Whoa, that was huge. That was huge. It's, uh, we knew that Ivan Sharich is such a capable grandmaster. Okay. He's going to. Well, off to the races, yes, sir. No, it's a draw. Ooh. <laughs> Broken bishop. Yeah. Uh, but, whoa, Ivan Sharich yes, won absolutely. Levon. Huge, especially for the standings where every point is gonna matter. Um, Ali Reza, he was very eager to give up his bishop for the pawn. I think it was the, the clock situation. The clock situation dictated that he had to give up his ambitions of potentially winning. And uh, but it's much easier to hold the draw with the rook with a rook and bishop on the board. Okay, and uh, now Before. the king is motoring. Wow. Uh, knight d4 threatens me. Quick. Knight d4. Oh, could have threatened me. You be careful. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, it's it's about the clock and the seconds. Yeah. Okay, well now you can still. Somehow this b pawn is annoying. Truly. It just completely entangles the white king. Okay it to a4 we're blocking the check and this is that, the moment the draw. and there you see draw. Yeah. knight against pawn it's a draw and then the players playing to bear kings <laughs> who would have thought wow, wow. A round of applause to uh, these worthy competitors what a game when they sit down to play each other they were the last to finish